I'd like to welcome everybody to the Crypto Millionaires Club. I hope everybody is well on this beautiful Sunday. Guys, I woke up in the middle of the night last night and VeChain was pumping 20%. I was like, whoa, damn, breakout. Uh, so I really wanted to see what was going on with VeChain. So I searched through the news to kind of see what's going on with VeChain today. And I do see that uh, Sunny Lou did a, a AMA. And I will talk about this. I took a few notes. Uh, shout out to VeChain at Italy. Uh, this is where I found this. So I like to welcome everybody to the Crypto Millionaires Club. If you guys can smash some thumbs up and hit that subscribe, this is my quick video on VeChain. So, like I said, I woke up in the middle of the night and I checked the price, and I was like, "Holy moly!" VeChain was pumping 20% last night on Binance. So I was like, goodness gracious, so uh, that piqued my interest to see what VeChain was up to today. And I noticed that Sonny Lou did a live AMA. Now, I will link this in the description where you can watch this AMA. I highly recommend it. It's actually really good AMA. Um, it pretty much answers a lot of questions, guys. I took a few notes of some things that interest me. I'll talk about it real quick. Uh, I'm really excited about the VeChain project. Like I said, ever since they landed in... Um, Binance US and USA I think that was a huge for VeChain and I think VeChain is going to do really well and I think it's a hell of a deal too it's still you know under a penny so you know they say high risk high reward but you know it's, you know I don't feel like you're really putting in too much uh, I, I feel like you're not putting in a high risk with you know the price of VeChain but San Marino partnership. He goes into the San Marino partnership. He says we're working on two, three projects with San Marino. Maybe San Marino was uh, thinking of coming out with a token, a settlement token, uh, a coin for exchanges. Maybe that's going to be built on the V Chain Thor. Uh, they, they reference the timeline on that. He says basically they have been having workshops with San Marino with DNVTL. And, and here's the thing, guys. We are at the birth of the internet of value, the internet of uh, blockchain technology, traceability. So he basically references to, yes, we're having workshops for us. You know, we have uh, partnerships, understanding. But at the same time, it's like we're mapping out, you know, a whole new way to do things. So, of course, we're pioneers in this movement. So he basically said maybe Q2 2020. So, you know, and we're working on that. He also referenced uh, my story, which I've done videos on, on DNVGL certificates up and running. Now, this is huge, too, guys, because if you understand uh, what DNVGL and PWC does, they're like all the team companies. They they pretty much give legitimacy to companies. So if a company says, hey, we're selling a million bitcoins uh, a month, you know, you would have to have a third party auditor to review your books to say, hey, this is true. Because if you're reviewing your own books, then your data would be inaccurate, of course. So this is why companies that verify companies' data is huge. Because data is also a huge commodity, as we know with the value of Facebook today also. So... My story in DMVGL does certificates, and the first certificate they issue is actually Binance as being a trusted exchange. So that is huge, also. So I'm going to keep a close eye on that. Uh, Binance US certified. Now, Walmart China, he goes into the Walmart China relationship, which is huge, also. He basically. Uh, oh, why don't you save the planet? He goes into the Walmart China relationship, also. No, basically saying how they are running a deal right now with 23 products. Uh, they're trying to expand that deal to 100 products. But they also talk as in reference to uh, the growing market in China. Now, this is Food Gates. You uh, understand the deal they did with China. Now, China have grown 6% in the last quarter. Uh, Walmart said it was going to pump upwards of $1 billion into the country to... Uh, you know to basically lessen competition so basically the but they're gonna pump a billion dollars into Walmart they already run in the operation with Walmart and I think they plan to exp expand with 500 new locations so this is a huge deal with Walmart I think the one thing that Sonny Lou talked about that made sense with this deal is 
that okay we have this technology ready but the companies that are ready to go on the tra trackability program you know how can we get them connected what technology are they using or where are they at in their level of sophistication as far as being able to even join v chain see the thing is guys this is massive deal this is going to be a global shift and we're witnessing history here and we're also going to be a part of that history um so he says and he also references he met with china walmart jet very recently trying to expand um he says with the deal with walmart in china we also are in talks with pwc uh, they are the supplier because PwC is the supplier to the companies that are going to provide the products, and VeChain is going to want to trace the program, the uh, the products, the provider of the supplier. So he says there's a provider and a supplier, which VeChain is the provider of the technology, but the supplier needs to hook up to you know to compatible. And really, really quick, guys, one thing else he touched on was the Shanghai gas relationship, which I believe is very significant also because if you're familiar with the way China's economy is, uh, a lot of things are state-run. So for VeChain to even have their foot in the door there with the state-run gas company, uh, that's kind of huge, guys. So, you know, I'm not sure, you know, what's going to happen with that. But like I said, foot in the door is great. One thing I do want to recommend is this AMA right here with Sonny Lou. If you guys are new to V Chain, he clearly is mapping out a game plan. I think he says he's going he's he's going through four pages of questions. So uh, I actually only got halfway through it myself, and I plan to watch the other half also. So I highly recommend this. I'll link it in the description. Shout out to the V Chain Foundation. Uh, now, this is Food Gates. We made a video about that. Uh, this kind of caught my attention too, guys. Remember when Sunny announced a partnership with DMVGL and United Nations? Guess who was also part of the UN Accenture? Now, if you make this kind of bigger, you pretty much see DMVGL, United Nations Global Impact. Um, so I kind of wanted to look a little bit more into the United Nations program and see if there's an actual connection with VeChain and the United Nations. So, rounding up the event, the CEO of VeChain, Sonny Liu, confirmed a partnership with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and Carbon Credits. And this is basically a VeChain goes on a rampage at the VeChain Summit 2019, Deloitte, United Nations, and more. I'll say that one more time. VeChain goes on rampage. 20% it woke me up out my sleep my price my v chain radar alerted and uh and i woke up and i was woke up and what do i see v chain on fire <laughs> but anyway uh so v chain goes rampant i will link this in the description also but yes i did find that right here united nations and don't forget bmw oh, okay i did run across this new board members and uh board member um include Kaoki and former house representative in Japan. So this is San Molata, chairman and CEO of Scientific Committee, San Marino. San Marino, he's also a VeChain board member now also too. So, and I think I did pull his Twitter up. Uh, I thought I did. Uh, but uh, he's a board member of VeChain also. No, I know I did have his Twitter pulled up. Okay, no big deal. Um, also, guys, this Foodgate deal, we did a video on this. I'm not going to go too much more into it. Foodgate collaboration between VeChain, DMVTL, and ASI Group has entered into a memorandum of understanding. Now, this is when they pretty much fed the president of China and the president of France some limousine beef, as they call it. And it was tracked by VeChain. Huge. Shout out to the VeChain Retweeter. I get all my good VeChain news from the VeChain Retweeter. That's for sure. At VR Retweeter. And guys, I, I can't speak highly enough of this relationship right here. I think this is going to be a game changer for VeChain that is got listed on USA soil. Binance US is approved by the New York Department of Financial Services. Run by Crypto Kali, CZ is across the globe. Uh, we see him talking references in Russia, China now. Uh, 
Turkish Lear, USA. I mean, CZ has just been on fire, and actually lately so has VeChain. So I highly recommend getting a Binance USA account. Link in the description. If you guys don't have a Binance USA account, they say we both get fifteen dollars uh, once you join. So uh, Binance USA, I really love that exchange myself. And I am looking forward to 2020 and what VeChain is going to bring. As of being under a penny, I believe it's immense opportunity. Uh, I'll leave you with a quote from Yasko. The greatest wealth is created by being an early investor in innovation. You will be laughed at. You will be mocked. You will be ridiculed. But guess what? It is absolutely worth it. That's for sure. Guys, I can't thank you enough for tuning in. If you'd like to smash some thumbs up and hit that subscribe, the Crypto Millionaires logo will come down now. Smash that logo to subscribe to the channel. I release videos throughout the day. Hit that notification bell. You will be notified when I release a video. Do you own VeChain? Let me know in the comments. Much love. Mahalo.